Hi, Joel. How are Hi. you? Good. <laughs> nice to meet you. Well, tell me, um, how did you get involved in uh, doing Robocop? Well, I was first uh, approached by my agents, and they told me that there was um, a, ro a remake being made of Robocop. And at first, I wasn't that interested. Uh, I thought that I don't, I don't, I'm not sure that this is right for me. But then I was told that uh, Jose Padilla was uh, going to direct this film, and, and, and that really changed my mind because I'd seen his movies, um, uh, Bus 174 and Tropa de Elite 1 and 2. So I was a huge fan of, of, of his work, and I thought he was you know, one of the best directors out there. And, and I, was, I was really honored that he just wanted to sit down with me. Um, so uh, we, we had a meeting, and, and he, he told me about his idea and, and what story that he wanted to tell through the concept of Robocop and, and I just I thought it was a brilliant idea mm -hmm. and, and, and it was one of those uh, circumstances when it was um, when society has changed and moved on and, and idea has a different relevance in today's world so it's so it's actually a, a really a, it's a good time to, to retell the story. Uh, talking about that, I was seeing a little uh, feature about Omnicorp, and there's this guy saying, um, "It is not, it is not what men can create; it is what men can become." What have we become as humankind? Um, well, I think that we've become a lot more dependent on technology, and um, and we base our society almost entirely on technology, and. And the development of, of technology has an exponential curve. And I think there's a lot of stories now. I just saw her, uh, Spike Jones, beautiful movie. And, and, and I, I think a lot of people are realizing that there is a lot of uh, interesting and very difficult philosophical questions and decisions that we're going to have to make. Mm -hmm. um, so this was one of those rare, great opportunities where we wanted to make a big, exciting action movie that also brought up some of these ideas. Mm -hmm. But, but that, that scares you in a personal level, how, how the world is going to become with all this technology and all? I'm excited about it, but it also scares me. <laughs> I think it's, 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 um, I feel the double about it. <laughs> Would you consider big corporations uh, our biggest enemy right now in society? Um, I definitely think that we need to control the com corporations and not let them control us. I read that you work with a lot of female directors back in Sweden and you have a lot of sisters, mm -hmm. if I'm correct. So is it important for you to have like a female presence in your life? Have you been influenced by females a lot and do you think it's, it has turned out to be positive? Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, I've always uh, been drawn to strong women, and I've always had a lot of strong women in my life, and so I've always, always felt very comfortable with that. Can you multitask now after being with so many women? No, <laughs> no I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a male caricature when it comes to I can only do one thing at a time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.